Notice some interesting behavior about vSphere 4 and the uh, large LUN 2 terabyte boundary condition. So first, let's take a look at a Clarion with two 1 terabyte metal LUNs that are striped. So basically creating a 2 terabyte LUN out of a striped metal LUN. So uh, what we're going to show here is we've got uh, our vSphere cluster. Um, we've got no storage uh, allocated to it here except for an NFS data store and the local store. Um, we've got our iSCSI initiator set up. Lots of improvements in the iSCSI initiator in uh, vSphere. So going to Navisphere, lots of interesting stuff to come very soon in Navisphere. I can't wait to show everybody. But um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just quickly create a couple of uh, one terabyte LUNs and then meta them together into one two terabyte LUN. Uh, for subsequent variations, I'm not going to show all these details, but just to show you once how, how, it's, how it's actually done. Um, and by the way, just a, just a note on what I'm using here. I'm actually using uh, CX4240, and it's running Flare... Uh, uh, 28. So, um, as I was writing the section of the book uh, for mastering vSphere 4, I noticed this interesting case and I wanted to document it. So here I'm going to create one terabyte um, LUN in one RAID group. And then for fun, I'm going to create another uh, one terabyte LUN in another RAID group. Uh, Navisphere, by the way, has got those simple, easy wizards there on the side. I'm doing it actually the hard way here, but one thing that's good about doing it the hard way, meaning through the actual dialog boxes, is it's really easy to do a whole bunch of tasks all at once, like I just did here. So, bam, two um, one terabyte LUNs created. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically uh, create a metal LUN out of those which for those of you that are not, uh, um, you know, Navisphere or Clarion people, it basically means creating a LUN out of components of smaller LUNs. It's a neat way to basically create um, LUNs that are very wide, meaning they go across lots and lots of spindles, um, or, uh, um, you know, that, that are concatenated. So you can basically restripe it, or you can do a concatenation. So, um, I was just showing how the wizard worked there, but um, I'm not going to do it that way. Again, I'm going to do it the, uh, the old-fashioned way, so to speak. So I'm just picking a LUN. I'm going to say I want to be able to do an expansion. Um, again, it fires up a wizard. Now your choice here is either to do a stripe or a concat, so we're going to pick a stripe. And then you pick this LUN, two LUNs that you're going to stripe together. And you'll notice that the maximum user capacity is 2 terabytes, exactly. And off it goes. Just like uh, with storage vMotion tasks, you can, um, uh, you can uh, govern it. The storage vMotion and vMotion now have got much more sophisticated governors in vSphere 4. So we now have got a, a LUN that's exactly 2 terabytes, which is the uh, maximum due to the way that uh, uh, VMware basically handles uh, partitioning. And the logical volume manager, which uses the old uh, cylinder head sector uh, partitioning mechanism. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, mask that um, that uh, LUN. And again, just if you take a quick look, you'll notice that the expansion is complete. Basically, it's very very fast. Um, either a restripe or a concat. A concat is actually instantaneous. So we're now going to assign that LUN to a host. Again, I could be using the simple and easy wizards on the sides. I'm a bit of a glutton for punishment. So I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way, which is still pretty darn easy. Um, I'm going to go in. I'm going to select the metas. In this case, I've got that one 2 terabyte meta. And I'm assigning it to the storage group, which is an important idea that's now available on every one of the EMC platforms. Basically, the idea of grouping hosts together it makes it very very easy to provision storage to uh, groups of hosts in this case a vSphere cluster so you don't have to do it to every individual host you just do it to the grouping of hosts so now if we go uh, over to uh, virtual center 
and we take a quick look at the dialog. If I go to add a new disk, boom, the new two terabyte disk is there. And I say go ahead and I get this interesting error. So what's the deal there? So a two terabyte LUN using a meta restripe resulted in some sort of error. So now I'm going to try the same thing, but instead I'm going to use two one terabyte LUNs and a meta concat, which is a similar thing that you're just concatenating the LUNs as opposed to um, uh, doing a restripe. So generally you concatenate to add capacity, or you can do a meta restripe if you want to uh, uh, add more performance and capacity at the same time. Um, there's actually a third major category on the uh, EMC platforms, which is basically a, a virtual LUN task where you can entirely change the configuration of the LUN from one RAID type to another and so on and so forth. But in any case, bam, 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 we're doing a concatenation, simple, easy, next, 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 finish, and it's done. So again, this is a different way of creating a two terabyte LUN. Um, and now if we go to vSphere, let's take a quick look. You know, I wanted to determine was this error due to, um, you know, perhaps something unique to the meta restripe. And boom, we get the exact same error. So, hmm. So the qu next question for me was, is this something related to metal LUNs, which I was using in both of the prior cases? So instead, let's go in and let's just create a straight up two terabyte LUN. Because I started to think maybe it's just that the two terabyte boundary condition has been changed. So um, here we've now got a LUN that's a meta, but it's slightly below the two terabyte maximum. 1.9 terabytes here. And if we go and we uh, take a quick look um, inside uh, vCenter, let's see if this works. If we add storage, we say we want to create a new one. Fantastic. There we see our 1.9 terabyte LUN, and this time it worked. So there's something interesting there. Um, so let's try and see what happens. Um, so first of all, this is good, right? So less than 2 terabytes work just fine. Let's try a configuration where it's greater than 2 terabytes. So this is actually something that in, uh, in VI 3.5 was actually potentially a dangerous case because if you provisioned a LUN that was greater than 2 terabytes and you asked VMFS to format it, uh, sometimes it made the VMFS data store unavailable. And if it was an extent um, or you were using uh, you know, various uh, command line tools to do an expansion, you could get yourself into some trouble. So let's see what happens in vSphere. I'm going to create a single LUN that is... 2.5 terabytes in size and on uh, the EMC storage arrays you can create large LUNs so you know there's no 2 terabyte LUN limit and uh, when you couple that with these composite objects where you can create LUNs that are composed of smaller LUNs um, they can get very large on our file system based devices the Solera you can have very large file systems so uh, by the way very large in those cases translates to many 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 terabytes so here, if we try and um, use this, if you notice, it was a 1.4 terabyte LUN, but it only said that, you know, 451 uh, gigs was available. So let's create a name here. Note that there was smaller space. So what ends up happening is rather than creating a potentially dangerous condition, it basically only gives you the space that's above that 2 uh, terabyte boundary, um, which is interesting. And boom, off it goes, and it worked. Now, admittedly, this is a total waste of two terabytes of storage, which would not be very efficient. But um, it's interesting. It stops you from creating something that would create an error. So the question is, why is this? And the reason is that VMware is looking out for you. So the first thing is, is that uh, by basically stopping you from creating a volume that's exactly two terabytes, it means that an out-of-space condition is avoided. So the actual maximum is two terabytes with this 512 byte uh, extra space. So while you give up 512 bytes, you gain the ability that you can't run into this out of space condition. In VI 3.5, if you created LUNs larger than two terabytes, you could get into some bad situations. There's a KB article on this. Now that's a condition that can't happen. Remember, if you need large data stores bigger than two terabytes, just use SPAN VMFS.